Hello and welcome to another Top 5 Mods of the Month for Fallout 4 on PS4. In this edition we have a helpful quality of life mod, a weapon modification mod, an awesome new modern looking settlement and a couple of incredible settlement overhauls. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss next month's video and consider turning on notifications. With that said, let's go ahead and check out the mods. Up first is Cloud Storage by LGBishi. This mod is fairly small, but it's endlessly useful for inventory management and storage of all your unique weapons, armour, chems, and all the other stuff everyone hoards in Fallout 4. What it allows you to do is share all of the items you've stored in the added ArcJet Cloud Storage system across all of your settlements. This is especially useful for people playing in survival mode because it means you won't have to travel back to your home settlement every time you want to switch out your weapon arsenal or load up on some more psycho jet. It's also useful for those not in survival mode as a time saver if you're already at one of your settlements so you don't need to fast travel to your home base. This allows you to spend less time managing your storage and travelling between settlements allowing you to focus on the fun parts of the game rather than the tedious inventory management. To get started, you will need to go to any owned settlement and open up the settlement workshop. Then head over to Power, then Miscellaneous, and build an ArcJet cloud storage system. It requires no power to operate, and it only costs one piece of steel to build. Then simply press the X button to activate it, wait a few seconds for the system to load up, and start sorting all of the items you want to transfer across your settlements. If you want to access your storage from another settlement, you will of course need to build another ArcJet cloud storage system, then simply access the system and all the items you've stored in there earlier will be accessible from your other settlement. Now I have said in the past that I don't cover cheat mods on this series, and this mod for some people would be considered a cheat mod, but I think there is an immersive way of using this mod that makes it feel less like you are cheating. If you have supply lines set up between all of your settlements, then I think this mod could be considered realistic, as your provisioners can ferry your items between settlements for you, the same way they allow you to use junk from all of your linked settlements. It's up to you to decide whether or not you think this mod is cheating, however there is a possible law explanation to make this mod work. So if you want to save some time, especially in survival mode, and have all of your items stored in one convenient system, give this mod a download. At number 4 on this top 5 list is More Deliverer Grips by DMF Project Gaming. This mod adds a stupid amount of new grips for the Deliverer in Fallout 4, each with unique art and textures that can be found in the game. Just a few examples include the Alien Grip, the Aluminium Grip, the Ancient Gold Grip, the Atom Cats Grip, Black Grip, Bloody Grip, Blue Rust Grip, and so many more. In alphabetical order, we've only just got to B. So far, at the time I tested this mod, there are a total of 103 new grips, with more on the way in future updates. As someone who uses the Deliverer all the time for its low weight, fast fire rate, and extremely low AP cost in VATS, this is a great mod to spice up the look of the Deliverer after having looked at the basic version of it for so many hours. If you're also a fan of the Deliverer pistol, as many people are, due to it being one of the better unique weapons in the game, then this mod is well worth a download. Give it a try. Next up at number 3 and taking the bronze medal is Sanctuary Hills Overhaul Redux by Undernear. Some of you might recognise this mod, as it is a big update and redo of Undernear's original Sanctuary Hills overhaul with some really nice new additions and some tweaks. What it does is overhaul the top part of Sanctuary, where the big tree is, by creating a large walled off segment of the settlement using walls made up mostly of crashed aeroplane parts. The entrance to this walled off area features an interactive gate that can be triggered from inside the settlement to keep out unwanted visitors during a settlement raid. There is also a drawbridge at the back which can be used as a covert way to exit the settlement in case an emergency evacuation is required or if you just want to leave the settlement from that side. 
The other features include a few walled multi-storey buildings made up of various junk materials, most of which are connected via stairs and bridges along and up to the giant walls. There are also workshop linked guard towers that you can assign settlers to in prime locations to add a little bit more protection during settlement raids. And you can also find notes explaining some lore and backstory on the settlement explaining how and why all of these structures and defences exist. This is a nice settlement overhaul that really strengthens Sanctuary Hill's defences using lore friendly and realistic junk from the Commonwealth. If you want a fortified Sanctuary Hills for your next playthrough, give this mod a download. The penultimate mod on this top 5 list and taking the silver medal is Camp Escape by Madrox. If you've seen or downloaded any of Madrox's previous settlement mods, you already know to expect a high quality and well designed modern looking settlement with really impressive interactive features and this mod of course lives up to that reputation. This mod adds a wonderfully designed, modern, mansion sized home in South Boston. The home features plenty of different rooms including a reception area with a reception desk, nice looking bedrooms, bathroom areas, lounge areas, a lovely farm area with a Mr Handy worker doing all the work for you, an awesome looking and unique alien bar with some really nice alien themed decorations, a regular bar that is also really nicely decorated, a swimming pool complete with its own twisting slide which unfortunately you can't ride, a games room with a pool table, lots of seating and even memory lounges like the ones from the memory den, a dining room, a nice outdoor area with decking facing the water, and a really nice waterfall flowing down the steps from the entrance to the house. And of course because this is a Madrox mod there are some really cool interactive features, all of the doors are controlled by buttons, there is an extendable platform to the lounging area in one of the pools, the regular bar features a switch that allows you to toggle the waterfall on and off although I'm not sure why you would ever turn it off. And the most impressive feature is that the entire seating area for the alien bar can be moved outside and then back inside which looks awesome and is just a great idea. If you want to power up the settlement to get the lights working, head down into the basement and power them up by connecting the reactor to the wall for power and the water connector to provide water to the settlement. Yet again Madrox has designed a brilliant modern home for those of us who like to live in luxury in the wasteland. And finally the best mod that released for Fallout 4 for PS4 in July 2019 and taking the gold medal is Camp Tempines Bluff Redux, another mod by Underneer and weirdly the second mod on this list that starts with the word camp. It's another redo of one of Underneer's older mods with some improvements for performance and some nice little extras and tweaks. This isn't just a settlement overhaul mod, it also includes a short but interesting quest to Fallout 4. The settlement itself is now a bit larger than the original settlement with an added area for a barn which is where most of the quest will take place. The main settlement is now an abandoned military camp and has a few new buildings and rest areas which are a main building with interactive window shutters and an assignable bar via the cash register, a clinic area with applicable furniture which is also assignable via the cash register, a very tall watchtower with great views of the commonwealth with assignable guard posts via restroom signs, an improved rest area for Lucas Miller's caravan to set up shop and warm themselves by the fire and a water trough for the Brahmin. The barn area is there to hide an underground bunker which can only be accessed if you can find the keycard. To find out where it is, simply read any notes you find around the main settlement or explore around the barn area. Once you enter the bunker your task is to find the second keycard that will allow you to access all of the buildings in the main settlement. The underground bunker can also act as a player home as it features everything a player home needs. It has a bed, plenty of storage, 
and weapons, power armor, chemistry, and food workbenches that are all linked to the Tempines Bluff settlement workshop. The main living area in the bunker is actually really nicely decorated and would serve as a very secure and homely living area for a sole survivor that wants to live in a secret underground base. Just be warned that despite the changes in the redux, the performance is still quite iffy and you will experience FPS drops, especially in the barn and around the bunker. However, this mod is worth downloading, even if you're just planning to do the quest, explore the underground bunker and learn the lore and backstory on why it exists. It's a really cool mod that I really did enjoy exploring. I do hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like and if you want to see more of my videos I really would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook, just search Nayflar to find me or use the links in the description if you want to follow me. Thank you so much to Klaus Demon and Wayne Savage for supporting the channel with a membership, it's very much appreciated. If you want to support me and help me make more and better videos, please consider joining the guild and becoming a channel member. Just press the join button and I'll give you a shout out at the end of all my videos to thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next one, good luck out there in the wasteland.